Have you ever noticed rust colored spots in your vehicle's paint? Have you ever wondered how to remove them or what iron and fallout remover is? Well, I'm gonna show you a little bit about that process with Underdog the Perps. Okay, let's take a look at what we have here. This charger has gloss white paint, which is where these little rust spots are the most noticeable. You may have these spots, but they're harder to see if your car is darker, but you at least have some. Okay, so what exactly is iron and fallout and how does it get into your paint and rust? So what happens is when vehicles are transported on the rail system, uh, if they're near a factory area, if they're in a cargo container, if they're coming from overseas, or it could come from brake pads and rotors making contact with each other, what happens is iron and metal get flung on your paint and they get embedded in your paint. And because iron can rust and corrode, you see these tiny little rust spots. Now again, they're most evident on a light silver or a white vehicle, but most likely you have them no matter what color your car is, you just might not be able to see them. In either case, we want to remove these unsightly spots from our paint using a chemical decontamination using the perps. And the reason we want to do that is because we want the surface as clean as possible before we apply a protective coating. What we're going to use is the perps from Underdog to remove this iron. Iron and fallout remover is clear in color, but you guessed it, turns purple as the chemicals react with the iron and fallout embedded in your car's paint after about two to five minutes. Whether your car is new or old, I recommend, and we do it here at our shop as part of any process, is decontaminating the entire car regardless if you see those rust spots or not. Okay, after we've washed the vehicle with Underdog soap to remove any excess dirt buildup, but while it's still wet, we're gonna start treating the car with the perps. And while I do this, I'll just mention that we wanna do this in the shade, in a well-ventilated area. We never wanna do this in direct sunlight. And I'm always gonna wear gloves for these processes. What we're doing is we're spraying down the whole car. We're waiting about two to five minutes and you'll start to see what was the clear liquid of the perps start to react and turn purple with the iron and fallout that's embedded in the paint. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna rinse away all this really well. You can see all the spots on this hood and we're gonna rinse it away before it dries on the surface of the vehicle and we're gonna get all this rust off. Okay, so you can see where the rust and iron spots were from the beginning of the video are completely gone thanks to the perps.